Okay, guys, well, it is preparation day for a tournament. But yeah, this is preparation day for a tournament in two days. Today I'm going to prep. Tomorrow is actually going to be a practice video, and the day after that is going to be the tournament. Now, I know my video posts have been really, really, really slow, like the last week, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. But I'll tell you what, I'm starting back daily today, tomorrow, and the next day. They're all going to be in a little series, and they're going to be my tournament adventure. But anyways, today is preparation day. Y'all get some rods rigged up, put some new line on, put charge the batteries. You know what? We better do that right now because batteries are pretty important. If you... But yeah, to be honest, I shouldn't be waiting until two days before the tournament before I charge my boat. You should actually be doing this probably the day you get back from fishing at all. Now, I got one day to charge my boat because I'm fishing tomorrow. And then tomorrow at the hotel, I'll charge it again. That way, there's no problems during the tournament, because this tournament, this is a pretty important tournament. I need to, I need to. Today, I am going to be re-reeling a little bit. Now, one of the lines I'm going to be spooling up is this God line right here. I got it from fishingsir.com. This is actually braid, but one thing I really like about it, if I can even get it out of the pack right here, but, is it's pink and hot pink. Now, you may be thinking, dude, why you want hot pink for? You're just trying to, you're just trying to get attention. Well, no, I just want to see the bites. That's why. Now, this is only 12 pound test. This will be going on my smallest spinning rod. And I'll be using this for little wacky worms, things like that. Now, for small techniques like that, it, a lot of the pros use some kind of fluorescent line. A lot of them use highlighter. A lot of them use pink. I decided I'll just go with pink. But the reason is that is because the braid floats. It sits on top of the water. And whenever you get a bite, it'll take off. And you'll be able to see this a whole lot easier than you will just regular mono or a stick or grass colored braid. That's why I went with this. And you know, the fish, they're not necessarily gonna care too much about pink because I almost always have a leader on. And even for this whole spool, which will most definitely fill up a spinning reel, it's like super cheap. I believe it's like five or six dollars for like legit this spool and about any color you want and about any size line. So, um, uh, well anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link down there. I'm about to do some kind of crazy looking time lapse right now. It may turn out to look like I'm just sitting here spinning a reel really fast. But anyways, here it goes. Here comes this crazy time lapse and have fun with this funky music. That spool, nice, even, all the way up to the top, just straight up perfect. Now, that way, whenever I cast out there with like a weightless wacky worm, it'll sit out there It'll be sinking. I'll be able to see that line. Everything that happens will be transmitted through the line, both by feel and sight. Whenever something barely bites it or takes off with it, I'll know right away and I'll be able to set that hook. But that's not the only rod I'm having to respool. I'm also having to respool this one with 10 pound fluorocarbon. Nothing special, just my little cranking rod. But yeah, I'm running low and what is on here is super afraid. So we're gonna crack this open and get me some brand new line that hopefully I can win me a big tournament with. But you know, we're just going to try because I don't win many tournaments. So I guess you guys can be getting ready for another short but sort of funky music topped little time lapse about now. There is a lesson to be learned right here. Now, I knew that I should be putting it, a screwdriver through here and reeling it off like that, like this right here, to put on my bait caster. But you know what? I said, I, I, don't, I don't think I want to today. Just want to be lazy. So I reeled it off like this. And I got a backlash while I was thinking, putting line on it. Somehow I got a backlash. And then whenever I reeled on, it's all twisted and trying to curl up inside of here. So that is a lesson to be learned by me. So if you're putting line on a bait caster, Make sure you put it up like this and reel it off like that. That way it'll come off this like this and go on to the reel just like this. Because if your case is like mine, you end up having a lot of trouble down the road. And if I hadn't corrected my mistake now, I'd probably end up with a very, very costly and deep backlash. Alrighty, well since we put brand new line on this rod, might as well put, you know, a bait on it. And since tomorrow is just a practice day, Few of y'all may be thinking I should maybe throw some baits without hooks in them or throw some baits and just bend the hooks in. Actually, I, we're not going to do that. 
because it's gonna be hard with a moving bait especially to really detect a good hard bite. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run around the lake, fish certain kinds of cover, certain kinds of structure, and once we catch the first fish off of it, then we're done. And we're not talking like done for that spot. We're talking about done for that cover and that structure on the whole lake. So what we're going to do is we're going to fish certain types of cover until we catch a bass. Once we catch a bass, we're going to label that. Then we're going to go all around the lake looking for more cover, more cover just like that. And let's say we fish a type of cover and we never get bit. Then we're just going to mark that cover off altogether and make sure that we don't fish it tournament day. But anyways, this is going to be a moving bait rod with my cranking rod, cranking jerk bait. Now what I'm going to be tying on this one, I believe I'll go with this one right here. It's, it's done a lot of good things for me. It's red, fast love red in the springtime. This is just a flat sided silent crankbait. Now it runs about uh, six, eight foot deep, maybe nine since I'm fishing it on this fluorocarbon. Okay guys, well I'm actually done rigging up. I'm just gonna go through real quick and tell you what all I got. I got this little hot pink spinning reel little thing. I just got a little wacky worm on hook, hook on that thing. To be honest, we might actually go fishing right now after I get done telling y'all this, so stay tuned for a little bit of fishing. But anyways, they are spawning, they are on the bed. So I have this little um, uh, semi-Texas rigged flipping hook, because Flipping hooks usually get better hook sets. That's just there. Some spawning bass if we run into some. Got this big old white spinner bait. Got my red crank bait like I mentioned earlier. I got this jig that tastes like and a big swim bait. But yeah, just like I said, we're gonna head out there right now. Under here, it's super it's muddy. Super so we're going with just plain up wacky rigging a black trick worm. And to see with this high vis line, I can leave complete slack on my line and give my bait maximum action and I'll still be able to see the bite. Instead of with clear line, I'd have to have a semi-slack line and my bait would still have action, enough to catch fish, but it wouldn't have as much action as it could have and you may get a few more bites having it slack line like I am right now. Oh, there he is. Huh, wow. Is this even a bass? Yes, it actually is. This is what you call a flambo. A, oh man, a giant. I mean, it's not like if you lay them in my hand that my trick worm is longer or anything. It's not, it's not like my trick worm's any bigger than the bass. I mean, well, okay guys. Well, like I said, I'm going back to daily. So be ready to come back tomorrow, watch the practice day video. And then the day after that will be the full blown tournament. So yeah, please come back tomorrow, three o'clock, same time and be ready to watch my practice.